As most of you guys know, I do a lot of stick chip racing. So I gotta have the best of the best when it comes to clutches for the most part. What's up YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna be talking about clutches. competition clutch it's called vengeance so we're going to do an unboxing today on the vengeance twin disc ceramic clutch and we're going to set it right next to the mcleod clutches that i use and let you guys see a little bit of a difference and give you my take on it on the clutch itself going to unbox the competition clutch vengeance twin disc and I'm gonna give you a real reaction on what I think and what I some of the ideas and notes been running a twin disc RX THD for a number of years I'm pretty sure this is the 6923-07 from McLeod and for the most part the McLeod clutch has done everything I've asked it to do but again we're not here to talk about McLeod today so we're going to shove this off to the side but let's get right into these this uh competition clutch first off I want to say a shout out to Hanlon Motorsports you can find them here on this website here I've been doing business with Hanlon Motorsports for 15 years and we just got us a clutch in they just started picking them up here so they do sell this on their website if you're interested in it all right, so the one I'm doing a video about is the DM2-0701.62. Again, guys, I'm going to give you a no bull uh, reaction to these clutches. Now, I'm not saying that this is the clutch that you need to buy. I'm not saying that this is the clutch that you need to run in your high horsepower car. I'm just giving you an unboxing and a side-by-side, -side, nobody's done this, clutch review check this out right off the jump i'm seeing some loctite you know this loctite's like 18 dollars a bottle so you know that's really cool some instructions some warranty manuals pretty nice little setup here let's see what we got here installation and fitting installation guide everything in the kit anyways let's get right into this padding is good got the 26 tooth alignment tool so when you're actually installing it you can get these discs aligned oh wow check this out you get some arp flywheel bolts that saves us about 15 bucks and of course i'm pretty sure this is the weight uh this is the extra weight here so we're gonna go ahead and take this out right now obviously that little mark on the instructions all this stuff has to be aligned for the balance okay this is where your weight would go this would be a zero balance two weights in here pretty sure it would be for 28 and for 50 ounce clutches are everything guys you know, some people don't like, some people like to have slipper clutches and like, they like to have centered iron stuff. I like my clutches to be dead hook and I like my clutches to be strong. And, you know, I just build my axle and suspension to it. All right, you got the bolts that bolt this in. So this is a 28 ounce. This is a 50 ounce piece. This is for factory. And this is for stroker and 351. Thus far, I'm pretty impressed with what's going on here. And in a Fox body, uh, you know, putting a twin disc in a Fox body, you know, they only weigh about 3,000 pounds to begin with. So some people say, hey, well, I don't need a twin disc. I only make like 300 horsepower. Nah, let me tell you what, pedal effort on uh, twin discs are where it's at. You'll always get the strength and you'll get that grip that you need. Just got to make sure your transmission and your axle and you got to start upgrading the other part to it. So twin discs, even though they're expensive, definitely are worth investing in especially if you're considering putting other aftermarket parts on your car. So the second part of this video, I'm going to go ahead and take this apart and I'm gonna look inside, check the discs out, because again, I'm gonna compare it to the RXT at the end. So I wanna be able to take this apart as I already have that pretty loose so I can show you. Looks like a six millimeter. Very specific washers. Wanted to take this apart. I actually showed this on my live stream for you guys that don't know, I usually live. I usually live stream on Sunday nights. Looks like it's coming loose here. All right. So pull this top plate off. Looks pretty good. Hmm. There's the first ceramic disc. Looks a little small compared to the McLeod. I wonder if it's going to be able to hold. Here, I'll show you. Let's take the McLeod apart real quick. Yeah, 
And again, the McLeod has two washers. All right, so this is your top plate of your McLeod. Obviously, my other McLeod is used. This is just my spare one for both of my turbo stick shift cars. So they're always labeled appropriately, top and bottom, and etc. So I want to show you the size difference. Looks like the competition clutch is just slightly smaller when it comes to the McLeod one. The McLeod's got nine ceramic pucks. This has eight. Pretty still pretty nice piece. It's not labeled top and bottom, so I should probably do that. But I'm assuming that the mark right here means top. As far as thickness is concerned, the McLeod is about probably a little bit thicker. When it comes, this is actually used and it's about the same size as that one. All right, so here's the mid plate and it's different than the McLeod runs. It's got its weights and it's sprung. You can see here the notches. Again, it's got its paint, so I don't get it wrong. Just like a little puzzle, boys. That's pretty heavy duty, and I do like that a lot. Now I'll show you the McLeod piece. The McLeod piece is actually the whole system itself, where you bolt the pressure plate and the first top disc here. This bolts to your flywheel and catches the bottom disc underneath here. I'm very impressed with that. I definitely like the one and two spring design on the floater i like the floater the floater plate like drives into the flywheel traditionally dual disc uses a band and stand up design all your hardware is included this stuff doesn't remove this is crazy this is great so this is all one flywheel like machined as one and then you just got your lower disc you got your floater plate your upper and then the pressure plate mounts to the actual flywheel that's a pretty crazy design. I don't think I've ever seen it before. Instead of having this plate design mount to the flywheel of, it, of your choice, the actual flywheel is the plate. I'm giving you guys a straight up no bullshit review. Is this the type of disc that you're gonna need? Well, the competition clutch comes with all the hardware. Like I said, includes the ARP, the bolts for your flywheel. If you guys are interested in checking out Vengeance Clutch, just go check out Vengeance Clutch here. They're at vengeancecompetitionclutch.com right here. Here's the three clutches that you guys can purchase. There's the organic style for more of a lower horsepower rating. There's the ceramic style for the higher mid horsepower ratings like I have in my cars. And then of course, there's the six puck that's kind of the same thing as well. And this sort of clutch retails for about just under 1200 bucks. Whereas the RX THD is something around 13, 13, 1400 ish. So you're like, okay, Dan, I'll push it aside. What are you going to plan on doing with this clutch? This thing's supposed to be rated at 850 wheel torque. My car already makes 750 wheel torque, but we'll see if this clutch can actually hold my power. Guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Whatever clutches you guys choose to decide in your car, if you're choosing a twin disc, they're all going to probably work really well. I'm really excited to find out what the pedal effort is on this competition clutch and how much it actually grabs and how well it survives the test of uh, actually heat along with driving three or 4,000 miles a year at a minimum. Stay tuned to the channel. I'll definitely be keeping you guys informed on what I do with the clutch and what it does and what it holds, when it goes in, how much power it's making. And guys, I appreciate you watching this far. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe below if you enjoy my channel. There's a join button if you're interested in actually winning something like this. Check out my channel membership because the memberships below are gonna win some nice stuff this year. Check it out. Outside of that, see you soon.